Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys how to make the most saucy, meaty, cheesy lasagna rolls a recipe. If you want to see it, you know what to do. Keep on watching, subscribe if you know, like the video for me. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the ingredients guys. Please check the description box below for the measurement. Here I have my lasagna noodles. I'll be using 11 to 12 of them just in case one of them break. Here I have my ground beef. And also I'll be using two cups of marinara sauce. Here I have two cups of mozzarella cheese. 16 ounce of the ricotta cheese, half a cup of diced onion, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh Italian parsley, half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, salt, pepper to your taste, and also I have half a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now it's time to cook, guys. Y'all ready? Okay, I have my water on the stove. I am going to add the salt in there. Then we're going to cover it, let it come to a boil so I can add in my lasagna noodles. Now that the water is boiling, I am going to add in my lasagna. Now spread them out so they don't stick together. As you guys noticed, I didn't add any oil to the water because that actually doesn't really help out with the sauce sticking onto the lasagna. So that's why I didn't use any oil. I, I, I stopped doing it. I stopped adding oil to my lasagna pasta. I know it helps it from sticking together, but the sauce doesn't really stay on the lasagna. It's just slide, glide, whatever. <laughs> now, once you're done adding your lasagna in there, you're going to cover it and let it come to a boil to cook until it's nice and tender. Now my lasagna noodles, they look nice and soft and al dente. We're going to pour out the hot water and pour some cold water to it to keep, you know, so it can stop cooking. And then we're going to rinse it with some cold water that will help it from sticking together. Now here in this pot here, I'm adding the olive oil. Once that is nice and hot, I am going in with my garlic and the onion as well. Once the onion is translucent, I am going to add in my ground beef. Now we're going to cook the ground beef before we add all the seasoning in, okay? Let it cook, not cook, but you want the ground beef to no longer paint, basically. No longer paint, just like that. It's gray, it has no blood. Now it's the perfect time to add your seasoning in. Now I'm going in with the salt, pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, and also my chicken bouillon, which will add lots of flavor to this lasagna. You can also add Creole seasoning as well for some flavor. Now it's time for me to add my marinara sauce. You can use ragu, prego, whatever that you do like on your pasta. Just pour it in, stir it together. Then we're going to cover this and let it simmer. Okay, you're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes because you want to cook the ground beef. Don't just, okay, now it's done. Let it simmer, honey. Okay, y'all see how it's cooking really nicely and it's very saucy, just like how I want it to be. Now it's the perfect time for you to taste it to see if you need more salt or if you need more seasoning. Mm -hmm. 
now my ground beef is nice and done i set it aside moving on i have my mozzarella cheese i'm going to add the grated parmesan cheese in with the ricotta cheese that everybody don't like um i do have a recipe for lasagna without ricotta cheese which i will leave down below in the description box check that out i'm adding my egg my italian parsley give that a stir once you're done stirring everything together set that aside we're going to basically get ready to make the lasagna rolls in my baking dish i'm using about two scoop of the ground beef just add it at the bottom as a base for the lasagna so they can sit there and get saucy and swim in the in the sauce basically then i'm taking my lasagna noodle make sure you have a nice large area plate whatever non-stick plate to actually make your rolls now i'm taking the cheese spreading it out on the lasagna noodle just like that Once you're done adding all the cheese on the lasagna noodles, you're going to take your saucy, meaty meat, just pour it in the inside the lasagna basically. Just pour it on the, the cheese, on top of the cheese. Now, don't add too much because as you're rolling it, it's gonna, you know, come out but um once you're done adding all your sauce onto your lasagna rolls then you can roll them and it's easier to eat lasagna rolls instead of a layer lasagna because it's it's way easier less messy <laughs> easier to just take it out and eat it trust me now we're going to start rolling okay now it's it's not the fun part but it's a little messy make sure your hands are clean now this food about to go in my belly so my hands are clean it's a little messy for real for real <laughs> so make sure um your hands are nice and clean and just roll them just like that <laughs> It's saucy it's saucy when I tell you this is saucy trust and believe and it is absolutely delicious <laughs> Once you're done adding all of your lasagna rolls, you're going to take the remaining of the sauce and just spread it out all over the lasagna rolls so it can be more saucy. Why not? <laughs> Now I'm going to grab some more mozzarella cheese and just spread it all over the lasagna rolls, okay? You want that cheesy lasagna. You want that. That's why it's so cheesy and saucy. Okay, you're going to cover it with the cheese. Now I am going to cover it with a foil. I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes, okay? Covered for 30 minutes. Then I'll take the foil out and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Once it's done, honey, this is 
what you have take this to work to a crock pot to a potluck make it for your family sunday dinner this is a full course meal it will make you stuff <laughs> okay after eating this you gotta have the itis honey because this right here is a whole full course of meal let me tell you it's so good so saucy so meaty so it's so good okay try this out let me know how you like it don't forget to come back let me know okay come back and comment and also subscribe if you're watching me for the first time thumbs up the video let's get it to a thousand likes can we do it and also let me know was this recipe a yay or a nay let me know down below thank you for watching i'll see you guys on my next one bye